Welcome to the Friday Special Hone of the Day, Episode 1. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the little bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In this Friday special, we are looking at basic honing straight razor geometry correction. All right, let's get to it. So let's look this over. Okay, it appears that there may be like a micro bevel, wow, until about there. And then there is, you know, the steel worms or whatever that is. It's interesting. And then we go further down the blade and look at that. Got some damage on the edge there that we're going to have to work out. Okay. And then... We keep going down the blade, and kind of, yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, looks pretty good. Now let's flip that over and look at the other side. Okay, now on this side, maybe even has a better micro bevel on it. Okay, and okay, and there's that damage spot again. We're going to have to work that out as we go but uh, let's see the bevel looks pretty good on this side all along the edge all right so um, let's go ahead and put it on the diamond plate and see what it looks like then all right I wanted to uh, uh, give a shout out to Dr. Matt thank him for uh, all of his tips and tricks I really appreciate it uh, guys, I didn't invent any of this. I'm just following the lead of the people that know what they're doing in this hobby. All right. So now this is going to be Dr. Matt's tap and wobble test. And this is actually pretty good. It, it is a little off. Pretty good though. And now this corner... Okay, that actually feels decent. Oh, it, it's so close. It really is. Okay, so now let me try this side. Wow. Okay, this is probably the straightest razor I have seen in quite a while. So now we're still going to do a little work on it, though. Okay. So let me put some tape on that edge first. Okay. Well, let's see if I can just put it down. Sticking to me. Alright. And Let's do that. Okay. Now we're just going to do a little work on this. I really don't think it needs much, okay? It really did not feel bad, but I just want to do a little bit with it. There's 18. Okay, and 18. Now, let's see what that looks like. This one wasn't bad at all, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, that feels good. 
Now, here's what I'm going to do, though. I am taking that tape off. Let's see what that feels like. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, it's definitely dead flat now, without a doubt. Okay. Now, before we scope it out, let me, I'm just going to go ahead and do like Dr. Matt, because, uh, you know, I've got this little spot in here anyway. So, let's go ahead and I'm just going to blend the edge and the spine now. Okay, 20. And 20. Alright. Now, let's see how that looks. Alright, that's looking pretty good to me, just by eye. Let's go ahead and put it under the scope and see where we are with this. Alright, so this is what the front side looks like. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, and there's that bad spot. And that is looking pretty decent. And we got a bevel, a pretty even bevel all the way across. Let's look at the back side. Okay. Nice. And there's that bad spot again, which we've got taken care of. Okay. And we got a decent bevel. Hopefully you found that helpful. Click right here for setting the bevel. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.